Sandy Hoglan. Um, so we thank, I thank the organizers minus one <laughs> <laughs> for kind uh, invitation and uh, the possibility of uh, speaking about uh, this laser elimination. Uh, speci special thanks are due to uh, Dari, Dari, Dari Greenberg and uh, Jean-Gabriel Luc because they uh, interacted with me all, all the summer, you know, long uh, for this a uh, procedure of a uh, combinatorial procedure of dichotomy. If you have an alphabet, uh, you, you, uh, you split it in two, you have an alphabet X. If you, if you like a uh, finite uh, alphabet, you can dream of this, but uh, it can be finite or infinite. We will see how it, it can be uh, used for infinite. And the main question is, what, the, what does it happen if, if uh, we repeat this dichotomy? You have an alphabet X and, and you split it in Z and B. Z uh, will, will be the letters that will be eliminated. Of course, it is not a, a commutative uh, elimination. This is non-commutative elimination or even partially commutative elimination. So yesterday, um, the Professor Nakamura uh, launched a, a decomposition of a word, uh, very simple. If you have two, two letters, two non-commutative letters, and uh, you express a word, uh, and, and you choose to, in this concept today, to eliminate Y. Eliminate will, be, will, uh, will mean that the, the tail does not contain any, uh, any more Y. So we have a regular part, as he says, as he said, and the tail is where the, the, the Y is eliminated. So what is, uh, what, uh, what are we chasing for? We are chasing for structure. Uh, of course, uh, at, at the first attempt, it was finite, but, uh, we will see uh, how, how uh, considering denumerable or any infinite alphabets will, will be uh, useful for Drinfeld Kono Lie algebra, for example. Uh, you have a structure, and this is the uh, general concept. It's nice uh, structure, ni nice thing, and uh, this is a, can be a semi-direct product, and this can be a, uh, a smash product or uh, whatever. And, and, and the most well-known thing is uh, when you have a, a semi-direct product of groups, semi-direct product of, of groups, you take two groups and, and uh, the blue acts on the red. So if you have uh, at first two permut permutable groups, which means that you have this, <laughs> and this does not mean that uh, um, uh, G1 uh, be normal, but uh, it can be or, or not. Uh, maybe I have an example. This is here. In, in general, uh, for S3, for equal, N equals 3, it is, it is of course, uh, this, uh, this will be a, a normal subgroup, but for other Ns, you have this permutable decomposition. And uh, of course, you have, when you rewrite, uh, you have a, 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 a factorization, and if you have a factorization and you want to know uh, the uh, multiplication law, you have uh, G1, uh, G2, J prime one, J prime two. So you have to rewrite the reverse. So uh, rewriting the reverse, you have this. Uh, and uh, you have to know how to rewrite the reverse. And all this talk will be uh, on the subject of uh, how to rewrite the reverse. Uh, uh, of course, we will concentrate on Lie algebras because it is the, the simplest thing to have results. But uh, uh, for example, some colleagues like Dari uh, of yesterday, Dari Greenberg, are interested uh, of, uh, the, the, on the, um, the procedures of filtration of alphabets and uh, having 
results. So if you go from uh, Lie algebras to their enveloping algebras will, will guide us to, to know what happens. But after we will have a cross product of algebras. Uh, very simple, it is a way of, of rewriting the, the reverse, reverses. Okay. And uh, the categories uh, considered in this talk, but uh, it is uh, just an overview because we will not delve into, uh, we will delve into some details, but not. Uh, you have monoid sets for, uh, uh, for uh, generators, monoid groups, and uh, Lie algebras. And you know, from, to go from set to uh, uh, the free algebra, the free associative algebra with unit, uh, you can take two routes, go from to monoid, uh, the free monoid, and then to take the uh, algebra of the free monoid, or go to the free Lie algebra. Uh, fortunately, it was, it was mentioned by Professor Nakamura yesterday that the free Lie algebra, uh, abstractly, it, it can be realized as a quotient, but this, it happens due to Lindon basis or whole basis, that this quotient can be uh, uh, can be embedded in the free associative algebra uh, for any, for any uh, ground ring. So you can take this route and then uh, this is the enveloping algebra uh, uh, procedure. Of course, uh, I uh, apologize by advance. Uh, I will be a bit uh, descriptive and superficial, but it is a talk afterwards and uh, uh, all the slides will be on the, on the site and uh, I am at your disposition for, of course, uh, uh, references. So uh, what uh, we, we will use uh, categories only to unify things. Not uh, we will not do higher category theory. We will just do to unify things. What what we uh, uh, mean by adjunction here? You have uh, two uh, two uh, categories: C one, C two, and a functor, which is for for example, you have forgetful functor. If you have a monoid. Uh, you give me a monoid, I, I say, oh yes, I, I forget the law, and I, I, I give you a set back. This is forgetful functor, group monoid. The only uh, functor which does not appear as forgetful is the, the one from associative algebra with unit to the Lie algebra. It is just, uh, you give me an associative algebra, not necessarily with unit, but uh, uh, K -A -A, associative algebra. And I, 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 I form, so when you are not familiar with Lie algebra, you, you begin with this. This is a just a, a commutator. So this is not a, a philosophically a forgetful functor, no, but, but it is a, <laughs> no, you forget a anti usual functor. You forget anti commutator. Sorry? You forget anti commutator. Uh, I, I forget. No, you forget anti commutator. Ah, yes, yes, I, I, exact, exact. You, yeah. So it is, it, it becomes a forgetful functor. <laughs> okay. I forget, yes. Uh, so, um, so what are the, if you, if you, uh, take C1 as the category of sets, you get uh, free, uh, free, uh, free structures. For example, for monoids, you have this. This is not the, the star of a dual. It is a, uh, it is a star of a free monoid. Free monoid means the monoid of all words. Free group. This is the group of uh, all formulas in the letters and their inverses. Uh, associative algebra, which is the, uh, this is the root of uh, taking the, uh, the algebra of the free monoid, and this is the Kali algebra, and Kali, uh, K, uh, K free Lie algebra is, uh, you have uh, the K of X, X is an alphabet, and they, fortunately, LK of X is embedded, it's, it is just here, uh, due to the presence of uh, 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 unidiagonal uh, bases, like a Lindon basis and uh, or some whole basis, uh, uh, because they are not u always uh, uni triangular, but this it can be embedded here, and this can be thought as the uh, Lie algebra generated by letters.
So if you have a, you have the length uh, gradation by total length, for example, if you have a, b, two, two letters, you have uh, length one, you have a and b, and length two, you have a, b, because uh, the other, the only other commutator is a uh, minus this, this one, and after you have a, a, b. A, uh, B, B, A, and that's all because they are, they are uh, indexed. If this is a basis. They are indexed by Linden words. It was mentioned, uh, yesterday. What are Linden words? Once you have, uh, um, ordered your alphabet, uh, you can uh, be it finite or infinite. It needs only that to be totally ordered. Then you can consider, if you like this, you can consider all the Lie polynomials. The Lie polynomials are the polynomials uh, done uh, that are generated from the letters by the bracket PQ minus QP. And you, 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 uh, you have a lexicographic order. On monomials. This is a justification of uh, what, what, why Linden words are so, uh, uh, so remarkable and so important. Lexicographic, in, if you take any Lie polynomial, Then, this is the initial word in the lexical lex order plus higher time. And this is necessarily a Linden word. And this can be, uh, of course, uh, um, um, Given as a most um, embarrassed definition of Linden words, you have other, other definition. If you take, for example, A, A, B, and you make the cyclic conjugate, A, B, A, I take the, uh, or B, A, A. I take the last letter and I put it on the, I make a cyclic conjugate and I, I take the last letter. And if it is strictly, uh, if you, you have the, the cycle by cycling like that, if the, if the word is a power, you may have repetitions. But if you have no repetition, the word is not a power. And the, the, the smallest word is a Linden word, which is a, um, a better definition. And you have a third definition that was evoked by Professor Nakamura. It is a Linden word is a word which is uh, smallest that all is uh, right factor, all, all is uh, suffixes. So uh, if you if you look uh, at this, uh, these structures, you have this, this is the grading by uh, length, total length, and this is grading by multi-degree. For example, if I take uh, two, two letters, A and B, I have multi-degree here is, is one zero. Number of A's, number of B's, one, zero one. And this is one one. One, one A, one B, and this is two one. And this is uh, one two. So you can take, and you can take finite or infinite multi degrees. This is a statistics on, on the monomials. Uh, if you have, uh, even if your alphabet is infinite, we will see the enumerable alphabet. Then this is the number of A's uh, for each uh, letter, the number of this letter. The, the number of uh, occurrences of the letters in, in, the, in the monomial. And of course, if you see the, from the generation of the Frehley algebra, it is, uh, it is finely, it can be finely graded or a subgradation, which is a, a grading by total length. 
So this is uh, examples. And what is the Lazar elimination theorem? If you have the, uh, we will use uh, Lie algebras as a, as a guiding example because you can go to enveloping algebras, but it is not a, a talk on Lie algebras. The, the end point will be of associative algebra and filtration of alphabets. But we, we will guide, uh, take the guiding of Lie algebras to uh, understand what, he, what can we admit as a repeated elimination. So this, if you take any Lie algebra on X, so the classical Lazar elimination theorem, this is Bourbaki. Uh, um, it, it, it means that uh, this, this, let us begin by the bottom row, which is trivial. This is the Lie algebra on the, the uh, the alphabet X, and this is the Lie algebra of, sub Lie algebra of, of uh, polynomials that have no Z, no Z. You have elimination, you have Z, which I will tend to eliminate, and B, which I'll, I will take uh, as a tail, you know, and uh, as a tail. So uh, you will see the parallel between uh, monoid and, and Lie algebras because of, uh, oh, I think it is after, Yes, uh, the monoid, uh, this is, uh, uh, since uh, Professor Nakamura uh, 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 talk, I, I can say that uh, this is maybe better understood now by the public. This is, a, you have a, a, a word in, in, in uh, on uh, the, uh, the alphabet X and then, you just uh, pin the Z's. And this is the last Z. Uh, last, last letter. Many Z, for example. And you have a, uh, U1, W equals U1, Z1, U2, Z2, UK, ZK. You, ah, in, in the notations of Professor Nakamura, you are infinite, and all the U's belong to B star, and uh, UI, and ZI belongs to Z. And uh, we will see that uh, for Lie algebras, uh, this is the same story. Uh, the code here of the, uh, yes. The code of this, uh, uh, this is trivial, and this is very interesting to, uh, at least to say, even if it is trivial, this uh, Lie algebra uh, over X is uh, the this is direct sum of the guys that have no Z and the guys that has, have at least one Z. So this is completely trivial, but uh, we remark, what is remarkable is that uh, the guys that have only uh, at least one z made make an ideal because if you make uh, the the bracket uh, uh, of a guy that has at least one z and anyone it is it has at least one z and then having this what what is uh, non non so not so trivial in the Lazar elimination theorem is that this is a freely algebra. And the freely algebra is generated uh, on its alphabet by Din Dinkin combs. What are Dinkin combs? Of course, you have, if you have a non-commutative algebra, uh, you make uh, uh, trees, and it is uh, as it is a binary law. Uh, so <laughs> Dinkin combs will be like that: B one, B two, B k. B, oh, BK minus one, BK, and Z. And these are the, by the, the right normed uh, procedure, this is the, uh, the um, image of B1, B2, BK, Z. And this is not so trivial, this is well more and more understood because you, you do the semi-direct product bet between this uh, and this this algebra and this algebra, some algebraic construction, and you, then you, you, uh, you have as a target a free 
structure and you can invert the procedure. Uh, so, uh, and this is very interesting because every semi-direct product, semi-direct product, even if you are not familiar, uh, you can copy what, uh, with what happens in groups. This is a Lie algebra which acts on uh, another Lie algebra by derivations. Groups, it is by automorphism, and this will be by derivations. And, I, and this is a semi-direct product of these two Lie algebras. And then you have uh, every semi-direct product is um, the uh, homomorphic image of of uh, of Lazar elimination with this this procedure. Because if you have a word here, you make the Dinkin comb within G, with your uh, your Z and all the Bs because this uh, Lie algebra acts on this. So you have this. Uh, I repeat, it is not, uh, uh, even if it, is, uh, it appears as a talk on Lie algebras, we use it as a, as a, uh, as a way uh, to inspire us for uh, uh, successive elimination and deformations. We will, uh, I, I hope, we will have time to speak about deformations. And this is a Dream Falcono Lie algebra. I did not give the relators, but uh, uh, it is it is known that uh, this if if you eliminate, you know, you, you take this procedure, and this this will be uh, the alphabet, the, the 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 black alphabet, which acts counterintuitively on the free part. So it is it is exactly uh, the. The, pro the philosophy I gave it, you have structure, uh, say you have an X equals nice on X because you, you this is the, the nice will be, and here it will be semi direct product by the structure on, on B. So he, here for Lie algebras, uh, which is Drin Felcono Li Algebra, Felcono of N, is it N? Yes, N and K, which is generated by the Tij from uh, 1 to 1 to N, but uh, with uh, Tij uh, I, J, N, 1, the tri tri triangle of, uh, it is, what is the nice? The nice is the red part. Nice is the LK of TN. Uh, it is a free Lie algebra. A free Lie algebra, and then it is Drinfeld Kono of N minus 1 and K, which is the, the, the black alphabet, <coughs> which is B, the B, the tail. Now, you have this decomposition, and of course, underlying. You have a, uh, you have a, a direct sum because the underlying module of a semi-direct product of Lie algebras it is a direct sum, and this is very important uh, if you want to compute in this Lie algebra because you you can have Lindon basis on each on each uh, each sector. Uh, this is the uh, so we will have uh, two uh, <coughs> two families of example to guide us. Uh, three, the uh, the totally commutative alphabet, the uh, partially commutative alphabet, and the Drinfeld Colony algebra for eliminations. So what are partially commutative structures? I will go uh, maybe. Uh, the uh, the slides will be on the site. Uh, if you click on slide, and docs, and on my web page, uh, it will be updated in real time. So you will have people <coughs> that uh, want to call to to send me their slides, can send me, and I will put on the site. And then it, it is dynamic. You can, the morrow, say, oh, 
I have a better version, and of course I update. So what are uh, partially commutative uh, uh, structures? Uh, you have an alphabet, but you allow for uh, commutation of some <coughs> pairs of uh, uh, some pairs of of uh, generators. For example, this uh, all A, B, and D commute between themselves. B, D, and C commute between themselves, but A and C do not commute. And of course, uh, if you want to decompose this monoid, it is not difficult because uh, you see that uh, B and D, B and D are central. So you can push on the, on the right B and D, and you have a, a non-commutative alphabet, uh, which is uh, called no, totally non-commutative in the theory, which means that nobody uh, commutes with nobody. So if you want to uh, count the words uh, for this, uh, this uh, partially commutative alphabet, <coughs> You have uh, all the words, you enumerate the words like that, and you have ACCA because A and C don't commute. And it makes 11 words of length 2. And if, if it were free, we would have a, if it were totally free, as we have four generators, it would be 16. And if, uh, it, if it were completely commutative, it would be 10. So we have a, Important, uh, it is called Cartier alpha eta monoid. It is a, a old, uh, an old uh, thing. You can you can find uh, on the uh, Lotharingian uh, site um, the original text. It is uh, problem combinatoire de commutation et de réarrangement. It was published in English. Uh, combinatorial problem for co commutations and rearrangement with three appendixes. By, one is uh, by Christian Kratenthaler, the other one by Bodolas. And uh, so uh, all, all the bibliography is there. And uh, of course, it is uh, due to the Möbius function. And Möbius function is very, uh, this is a specialization of the Möbius function, is very intuitive because uh, it received, this, uh, this monoid received a very, uh, a pictorial uh, and intuitive uh, realization uh, in the terms of heaps by uh, Vienno. Uh, you have positions and uh, some uh, some uh, pieces, you, you, you make heap of pieces and some pieces don't commute if they don't commute. For example, here you have uh, A1 and B1, they don't commute because you cannot pile independently, but a1 and A2 commute because you can pile them uh, independently. And uh, this is, for example, for the uh, this commutation graph, uh, which I, I will uh, make this in parallel. You have here, you have three. You have this, uh, this is a uh, a1, A2, A3, and this, this is B1 and B2. And uh, of course, uh, you see that uh, non -com the commutation graph is the following. You have uh, A1, A2, A3, they commute between themselves because you can pile. If you make a heap, uh, and you give me the heap, I, I cannot say, oh, you have piled this letter between this, uh, before this other one. But, uh, uh, sorry, oh. uh, A1 and B1, they don't commute. A1 and B1, they don't commute. A1 and B2 commute because A1 and B2. Uh, ah, sorry, it is, maybe I inverted uh, B2 and B1. Uh, I won, and B2, they commute, of course. Uh, so I will correct it. Uh, and A3 and B1, <laughs> A3 and B1. Yes, B1 and B2 are, are, are uh, to be inverted. And this is the, so if you have the Hilbert series uh, of this monoid, you make one over the sum of minus one to the end, the click. Number, Cn is the number of clicks in your graph. For example, which is uh, easier to say to uh, 
maybe explore. Ah, yes. Uh, you have a click is a, a subgraph where everybody is connected to everybody. So here is a, you have a, a four one click for singletons, and you have two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, two clicks, five, uh, yes, five, two clicks, and uh, two, three clicks, two uh, triangles. Oh. This is the, so it gives you the number of words. Ah, oh, yes. Uh, for one click, five, two clicks, which are uh, edges, and two, three clicks. Two. So you have this uh, polynomial, and it gives you the uh, generating series of the words. So, uh, this, uh, this theory is interesting as a guide also because it is uh, very parallel to the uh, free, uh, uh, free, you have Magnus transformation. You can embed the free group in, uh, uh, with the x gives one plus x. Uh, and we, we could prove that uh, in the old times, we could prove with Daniel Krob that it, it is the last theory uh, which, uh, which is compatible with the Magnus theory of uh, uh, the uh, for example, the associative algebra, the free associative algebra, algebra being the enveloping algebra of the, the free algebra. And, and it is very parallel, but it, it can give you a filtration between commutation and non-commutation that is a very uh, a good guide. So I, I go to the end of my talk because uh, this is, of course, uh, the result. Uh, for example, for Drinfeld Kono, which uh, allows you to see at first sight, uh, you give me a, a Lie algebra presented on, a, on an alphabet, and I can uh, decide at first sight, uh, say, seeing the generators, if it is uh, a, a semi-direct product. It is a question of uh, gradation with, uh, I spoke this uh, on CAP 22 last year, of gradation over the uh, Boolean, Boolean uh, additive uh, monoid. So uh, this is uh, algebraic result. So you have this for the Drinfeld Kono algebra, and uh, you see that it is graded by uh, uh, by B in saying that uh, every action uh, of uh, the blue alphabet is uh, Tij with uh, J is less than n, n minus one. Ah, yes, uh, to uh, n. Uh, to this, uh, the relators uh, give you a big grading. So this is not surprising, and it was known uh, by the, I think, a uh, paper by uh, uh, Tang and, uh, and Ali, uh, that uh, it is a, a semi-direct product. So I pass, and this is a, uh, so, what do we learn from uh, this uh, series of examples is that uh, you uh, have a, if even if you are not familiar it is maybe four now <laughs> uh, you have a, a Lie algebra which is uh, decomposed as a, as a, as a module as in a some of some modules, direct sum of G A with G the low uh, because A is uh, totally ordered. The low uh, acts on the high. means that, like in Drinfeld Kono, the algebra, uh, you have, uh, we could, we could see that, uh, ah, sorry. I will, sorry. 
OK. It is a, a filtration of uh, Lie algebras as, such that the low, you know, the low alphabet acts on the high. So you make eliminations, eliminations, eliminations. And you have, uh, of course, uh, every guy here, uh, I, I take it as a functor, goes inside uh, the enveloping algebra of the high, of the, of the, uh, uh, the, the limit, the sum. And then uh, you have, uh, you can take C, you make uh, the tensor product of M is direct sum of U plus of the GAs. And you have a procedure of rewriting. It is like a Poincaré Birkovit uh, reordering. And uh, you have a procedure that tells you uh, that uh, the, uh, the, the part of the tensor product which is indexed by strictly increasing words, strictly increasing words of A, of course, if A is infinite, this is not a problem. A is totally ordered, strictly increasing words are that words with no, no repetition. So uh, the part of the, string, the tensor product is a section. So you have, uh, uh, here you have T of M, it goes to U of G, and you have T of M equals care of canon canonical, which means you multiply the tensors. Uh, I, I would like to say a word with uh, the cross, just uh, two minutes, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, this is just a guide, because you have a rewriting procedure uh, between, uh, and you, you can use algebra cross between, uh, all, the, all the story is to take, you have two, two, uh, and a, 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 a tensor, infinite tensor or finite, finite tensor uh, product. And you must rewrite, you have MA1, MA2, MAN. So you have to multiply to this with uh, MB1, MB1. So you have to this is increasing, this is increasing. So if it is, uh, it can be, this, if this is low, uh, below this, you, you just concatenate. But if this is not below, you have to rewrite the reverses. And it can be made by algebra cross, and algebra cross, uh, of course, can, is compatible with deformations. So I, I have finished my talk. Questions? Yes. <coughs> uh, Gerard, please. Uh, and do your alphabet, your X alphabet that you start with, needs to be finite or it, it must be infinite? It can be infinite. For example, uh, can it be finite? Infinite, it can be infinite. You, you can imagine these heaps, you know, with uh, A, A4, A5. And, and pieces like that. And you, of course, you eliminate step by step. You begin by eliminate totally non-commutative alphabet. And of course, I, I, I index this by x minus 1 to, to keep uh, the, the philosophy of the low acts on the high. Because this will act on this. And after you can eliminate this alphabet. And then you can eliminate this. Of course, all these are totally non-commutative. And you, you get a gradation, a filtration of the alphabet. Okay. Does it uh, answer yeah. your question? I was more thinking about the finiteness. Uh, yes. Um, when you. Can you go back to your slide where you do have these two, the DKN and the two decomposition in one in Lie algebra and the other one in 
in the DK. Yes. Um, ah, yes, for the yes, DK, yes. yes. Uh, you have a finite uh, decomposition. Have a finite decomposition. Yes, for uh, Zinfeld Kono of order, say, five, yeah. you have a finite decomposition. It is a free algebra, so you can apply Linden words and Linden basis. And to finite Zinfeld uh, Kono of order four, and this again. And Okay. Okay. Is it, okay. Yes. Which question? How did the story interacts with uh, Grubner basis and? Uh, yes, it, it can be re-understood by Grubner basis, yeah. but according to Dari, Dari, he said that he uh, this uh, is more enlightening for him, for for him to understand in this particular case. For, of course, I think the Grubner basis are more general, yeah. but. Well, if you have to... Maybe... Thank you. Thank you.